Hello everyone, Zane here and welcome to another Final Fantasy XIV video. Today I'm going to show you guys how to make a crap ton of kill with your scripts. Now we're not just talking purple and white, we're also talking about Sky Builder scripts where most of the bulk of my kill came from. Now, huge disclaimer, make sure that you do your research before selling anything in this video. Alright, this is where you guys don't waste resources. I've already had someone complain on my last video that just because it didn't work for them on their server, the whole video was just basically clickbait, which is a total misuse of the word completely. It's not my fault that your server just doesn't want them. I'm on a rating server, so the food that I showed you guys in the last video worked well for me. So make sure you do your research before selling anything. And if it doesn't work for you, there's plenty of other guild guides I have on my channel if you need help. All right, so the first thing we are going to be looking at is purple scripts and white scripts for crafters. So for purple, we have what I would say was the best thing to sell is control 10 because control is more needed than craftsmanship and CP. All right, so control 10 will be for materia. Now for materials for purple, we have immutable solutions, but the problem with this is that each solution is used for alkahests and it only needs one to make three so they're not going to be too expensive and not too many people are going to be buying them in bulk and the other item is for a pack maker but because this can be skipped easily with the script set that these are basically obsolete so there's no reason to make any of this so the alkahest for the battle gear that you currently have is what you're going to be using those for now, as for the food like dark eggplant and the caviar, you can sell them, but they are best used to make the food to sell for gill instead. So for the rest of this, I would just save them for a mutable solution. Now, if you guys want your rotations for purple and white scripts, I do have both. So for purple scripts, I have reflect, manipulation, waste not two, innovation, three prep touches, great strides, bower god's blessing, veneration, three grown works. For White scripts, we have Reflect, Waste Not 2, Innovation, 3 Prep Touches, Power God's Blessing, Veneration, and then 2 Ground Works. Remember, if you're doing Waste Not 2 in a macro, the Roman numeral for Waste Not 2 is going to be a uppercase I. Just letting you guys know. So that is going to be the macros for Purple and White, which I will copy and link everything in the comment section down below. So you guys can copy and paste. Now let's talk about gatherer scripts. Something that I don't really care to do because it's too grindy. So materia for purple is going to be perception 10 because perception is what we need for most of the new items and for making collectibles so much easier. This also pertains to white scripts as well. You want to sell perception over everything else. Now for materials under purple scripts, we have the Aether Sands but the fact that they cost 300 purple, it's not that optimal. You can get these to ethereal reduction that much easier. So I would skip doing the sands altogether. The, I would say the easiest and best way to get these is through the knife fin fish through spear fishing, but they don't give you that much. And if you're very good at ocean fishing, you can actually get the green and blue fish that will give you a crap ton of purple. Or you can do your custom deliveries on your gatherers. But again, Get these through ethereal their reduction and save your, your time and your sanity. All right, so that is pretty much going to be for purple and white scripts. So now for the bread and butter of this video, Sky Builder scripts. So you need to do point, patch 3.3 of the Heavens Ward main story quest and unlock the Firmament, which I do have a video on how to unlock that, so I'll make sure to link that down below. So I'll see you guys in the Firmament. All right, so here we are in the firmament. To get to here, just talk to the main Aetherite and click go to the firmament if you have it unlocked. So from the diagonal from the entrance, you'll have the strip exchange. What we're gonna be selling is going to be the dye. This is going to be gunmetal black and pearl white or the discounted version of pure and jet black dye. All right, these sell quite nicely and also the gunmetal black and pearl white can come up in the Fashion report under die options, if, in case you guys can't do the gear. And it costs you 500 Sky Builder scripts. There's only two ways to get this, and I'll show you guys the alternative. Except that one is going to be towards the end of Endwalker, so this one is towards the end of 3.3 and, and uh, Ishgard. 
so it's a lot easier to get. So you need 500 Scarabella scripts to get these. So you can get these through either gathering in the diadem or crafting at least six items with crafters. The good thing about this is you'll be able to get your points for the pterodactyl mount achievements. You can get your Koopa fortune tickets for more rewards that can sell for a lot of gil. So there's more than one reason why you want to do this. All right, so we are going to be making the great fortisanal sky builder items. You can't use trained eye on this because the prevented that on expert recipes. Boo on Square Enix. You are going to be using the indicator fully melded gear. I will make sure to link the melds and how to make the gear itself down below in the description. You're going to be using the uh, script main hand tool because you're able to add in the control which you're going to be needing. If you're doing the relic tool, you're going to have to use the Briani because you're only going to end up with four quality short of getting maximum and that's going to cost you 10 points towards your achievement. The scripts is going to be the same. All right, but if you're going to use this tool, wait till 6.45 for the upgrade, which should be coming, I think, either the 17th of July or maybe the 1st of August after FanFest. So, yeah, I would honestly have go with the script one and this mill, the grade 10 control to make that up. As for the food, you're going to be using the tea and the draft. Like I said, if you're using the crystalline tool, the biryani. But these two are what you're going to be using. So our stats with the food in the draft is 686 CP, 40, 57, the crusher ship is way more than what we need, and 4,005 control. And this is without a specialist. If you have a specialist soul stone equipped, you can use it if you want to make it a lot easier. All right, so the rotation is going to have a variant just in case Waste Not 2 gets extended through Primed. So number one is Muscle Memory, Manipulation, Veneration, Waste Not 2, Remember the uppercase I is for the Roman numeral one for always not two. Two ground works, innovation for prep touches, and innovation again. If primed on waste not two, we would go with basic touch, standard touch, two train finesses, innovation, train finesse, great strides, bower guts, and basic synthesis. If we did not get primed on waste not two, we will continue to normal two prune touches, two train finesses, in Innovation, Train Finesse, Great Strides, Bargas, and Basic Synthesis. Alright, so let's start with number one. No goods or excellence are required. Your CP will fluctuate if you get Pliant, because that reduces your ability by half if it is landing on it, so your CP will fluctuate. Alright, so Waste Not 2 did not get extended, so we're going to continue with number 2. The only way that this will fail to reach max collectability is if you get poor on Byragots. Well, most people will suggest putting in Tricks of the Trade in there right before uh, Byragots Blessing to make sure that you don't get that. But I rarely have had that happen to me. Well, technically, there's no excellence for the experts, but yeah, there you go. That is the rotation for that. So it's 1547 collectability for the max. So you will have max collectability. You will get max points for your achievement. But these scripts does not go any further than 80 for getting the 1400. So we're going to switch over to my Weaver since I pre-made some items. Alright, so as you can see here, we got 80 scripts and 1194 points for our Weaver. Because you need 500,000 for each job for your Pterodactyl mount. There's also achievement for 50,000 as well. So every time you send in items with the stamp next to it, you get a stamp on your sticker for your Kubo of Fortune. So six will grant you one sticker or one ticket. Then you talk to Elizabeth over here and then you can uh, use them. And hopefully you get something good. If you get the, I think the Verdant Partition, those sell for like almost half a million gil on my server. 
So you can either take these here for a gamble or you can take the one over here for a guarantee. But ultimately you kind of want to go for the top item. So if I chose this one, I would end up getting the partition. Oh, this is the partition right there. So this actually increases your chances of getting it. And I didn't. And of course, it didn't really matter. Anyway, that is how you guys get your Sky Builder scripts. Of course, if you do not have the materials, you're going to have to go into the diadem and gather everything. If you want to know how to do that, I will also link that video for Botanist, Miner, and then also Fisher. Because he will give you points for those too. Also, if you see on the right here, you see the feat. That is the event that happens in Ishgard. You will get, I think, 100 skyscripts for getting gold on each fate. And you also, you have your feat tokens that you can get if you do the fate, which you unlock the presence to get these tokens. Or you might get the uh, items itself. But if you get these tokens, you actually can pass in these for the die as well. So that's why it's also very important. All right. So as you can see here, 1,773,837 is what I got from the dies itself. My sales history shows everything that I have sold. And if you go even further down, you can see I sold even more. If you actually saw my last video, I showed you my retainer history, which I actually sold some die as well. So I've been trying to sell these right now, but most likely I've been undercutted, unfortunately. Not by much, just one gill for a jet black dye and for the pearl white. Again, not that not bad. But if I show you my sales history for white dye, look, they were going for 45,000, then some idiot decided to drop it by 10. All right, so please don't do this. If you do this, I will personally come to your server and I will smack you upside the head with Mrs. Manderville's frying pan. And by the time your character wakes up, you're going to forget you had a retainer. Alright, so don't make me come to your server if you do this, please. Just kidding, by the way. So that is going to be for the dies. Now, if you look at my other retainers... This is from the last video, but as you can see here, I sold... A couple of weeks ago, I sold some Perception Materia. Solution. The Earthbreak Ether Sand here, if you... Want to go down that route, that route with the uh, purple scripts. This one, I have the control material that I sold. Here's more solutions. Bottom here, more solutions. The grip gel here. The ver the uh, partition I mentioned. Look at that, four hundred thousand gil. You actually can get that through St. Moshion's Arboretum Hard Mode, I believe. The other thing that I got was from the Fates, from the Presence, was the Apron Rack, which sold for 100,000 gil as well. So if you want to invest on that, go ahead. The one thing I did not mention was Fieldcraft Demon Materia 3s, which sells the lowest. You can get these through Desynthesis, or you can get them through the White Scripts as well. And this is mostly for getting the Master Recipe books and Aroma Reborn. Again, these are the lowest form of gill making. But if you want to go for those as well, feel free to do so. And I don't think I sold any, anything else. Yeah. So those are all the items I have sold. Like I just showed you, the die sells insanely well. Especially if the uh, Fashion Report requires them. You definitely want to stock up on those. But it's 500 scripts for Sky Builders a piece. So that's, like I said, 6 of those for crafters. Now, if you want an alternative get to getting these, you're going to go to more bait docks, and we're going to go to our island sanctuary, which comes at the end of Endwalker of 6.0, which again, if you are at that point, we're going to take advantage of this. So see you guys on my island. All right, guys, so here we are on island sanctuary. So the alternative is with your blue cowries and only blue cowries only. So this is best done as rank 16 because around that rank we get four workshops which means we get as twice as much calories as we did with three all right 
And if you do this correctly, you can get a bunch of calories per week. Of course, I got 41,316 from last week. This is because I used the Overseas Casuals Discord channel, which actually gives us recommendations for what to put up for our workshops to get the maximum. But this only works for four workshops, okay? So if you're doing this when you only have three, they do have items that you don't have access to until you get later through Island Sanctuary rank. So, like I said, I would only do this as a rank 16. But if you're leveling up in your Island Sanctuary, you might want to dive into this. So under Materia and Items, under Blue Calories, you'll have 2,500 calories for one Gunmetal Black and Pearl White Dye. Again, pretty expensive, and you usually want your calories for extending your island. So, I, like I said, I wouldn't waste your calories until you at least reached rank 16, or you don't need your calories for upgrading anymore. Alright, so if you want to find that Discord, just go into Google and type in Overseas Casual, and they are the first thing to pop up when you search. If you put 14 in there, you might find it easier. And they will give you the recommendation that you will need and also alternatives as well if you want to maximize your potential and getting your calories. Also, the achievement in the challenge log will give you a thousand each. I think it's under other. Yeah. Collect the hundred materials for a thousand and then ship 20 handy crafts to get another thousand per week. And that's your alternative to getting the dyes and also the material as well. That's the only thing you can really sell in Island Sanctuary. Everything else is personal. Alright guys, so that is pretty much going to be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new for more Final Fantasy XIV content and join the first brood. If you guys want to join my Discord channel, the link will be in the description down below. And if you guys want to support my channel further, I do have YouTube memberships available. And also a link to my Patreon page also will be in the description, which you will get early access to my item list for guild guides. And also any advice on guild making ahead of time as well. All right, and it's only a dollar a month. So until next time, make sure everyone walk in the glorious light of Lord Bahamut. And remember to keep forging ahead. Happy selling.